Minneapolis has never implemented a rent control ordinance, but ballot question number three could change that. It would amend the city charter to authorize the city council to regulate rent on private residential property. We'll begin this part with Mayor Jacob Fry to start. We're looking for just a yes or no answer, please. Do you support the ballot question number three on rent control, yes or no? Yes. AJ, AJ Awad, yes or no on ballot question number three? Yes, sir. Sheila Najad, yes or no? Yes. Kate Canute, yes or no? Yes. Mayor Fry, please explain your answer on rent control in 60 seconds. I do not support rent control in its classic form. Uh, however, I do support local control, which is the ability of municipalities, cities just like Minneapolis to have a legislative process where the city council deliberates, they engage with experts, they follow the data, they talk to a broad subset of the community to learn about all of the stakeholders' positions, and then they pass laws. Now, that is different than supporting rent control. That is supporting the process, but not the substance. Uh, rent control has been found by almost every major economist out there to have the exact opposite impact as stabilizing the rents. We need to be listening to experts. We need to be listening to data. And that is exactly the process that I would support going forward. But will I support the ultimate ordinance a city council may or may not come forward with? I don't know. We haven't read it yet. Thank you, Mayor Fry. AJ Oed, explain your answer in 60 seconds, please. Yeah, so for me, this is a very simple answer. Um, this is a fundamental human right. I think all the contenders here on this uh, platform understand that and believe that. And for me, I think this is a tool that calls for that type of regulation. Uh, I think the rate of homelessness in the city is going up mainly because of the, of the re, uh, increases in rent. And I think as far as, um, this current amendment, I'm, I'm actually in support of actually the people putting it up. And I think there might be some uh, legislate, uh, uh, I would say legal battles between if the city council even has the authority to do that right now. But uh, for me, I think that we do need to have a substantive rent control policy, better actually known as rent stabilization in the city of Minneapolis. If we believe that is a fundamental human right, then I think to regulate the, the housing market in such a way is not only necessary, but I think common sense. Uh, and the, as far as the economics and, and, and the experts, those are when developers go into backdoor rooms and have a lot of exceptions, which I think we should not do. Thank you, Mr. Awed. Sheila Najad, explain your answer in 60 seconds, please. Absolutely. So if you look around four years ago to now, you can see that Minneapolis's housing crisis has gotten worse, not better. Over half the people in Minneapolis are renters, and I'm one of them. I've been a renter my entire time in Minneapolis, and I know what it feels like to have the squeeze of finding an apartment that you can afford here. And, and rent control provides us the opportunity to make sure that everyone can afford to live in Minneapolis. And our, our neighbor, St. Paul, their mayor recently came out in support of their rent control policy. And I do support a 3% or tied to inflation policy. And, and as mayor, I would be happy to implement that in addition to implementing stronger tenant protections and education for renters. So they make sure that they know their rights and predatory landlords are not able to exploit tenants. Thank you, Ms. Nazad. And finally, former representative Kate Knute, explain your answer in 60 seconds, please. Yeah, I think rent stabilization is an important part of a more holistic approach to taking on the housing crisis in Minneapolis head on. You know, it's disappointing that the mayor said he'd look at what the city council passed and decide yes or no. Part of the mayor's job is to help set an agenda and a vision and a path forward. And we really haven't seen that from the current mayor. When it comes to rent stabilization, the design for the policy that I support and would champion is making sure we're, present, uh, we're protecting renters, we're protecting small landlords, we're making sure we're not slowing down building more housing in the city, and that we're not concerned about pushing out big national capital money interests that are just trying to make money on housing in our city and not concerned about safety and stability in our neighborhoods. Thank you all very much.